from the Cleveland Comic Con, this is Jeopardy! <laughs> Taking the place to start today's contestants, a programmer from Parma Heights, Ohio, welcome Dave! <laughs> a student from Madison, Ohio, please welcome Alex! A CPA from Stowe, Ohio, please welcome Lisa. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy! Yeah, well, me. <laughs> the, the host you're getting right now, Grego. Hi, hello everybody! <laughs> All right, welcome. Quiet theme song. All right, well, welcome everybody, and welcome YouTube. Uh, we're making a little bit of history today on Grego's Game Shows. Uh, this is the very first time I've ever done a game show at an actual comics convention. So, uh, all of the clues will be related to comics and other sorts of things that people who like comics will probably know. You guys have signaling buttons? Go ahead and pick them up. And again, I caution you, please wait until I finish reading the clues. And, if we're ready, let me set the board in motion. And players, I will remind you that there is one Daily Double, and you will find that Daily Double in one of these subjects. And they are first appearances, followed by colorful characters. Every character will have a color in their name. <coughs> then we have sidekicks. Moving on to better known as, I'll give you the real name of a character and you give me their superhero or supervillain name. Then we have the doctor is in. Doctors in quotes, so every response will have the word doctor in it. And finally, bow ties are cool. <laughs> okay, now, Dave, you won the toss before the show, so you need to get us started. Where do we begin? First appearance is 100. First appearance is 100. Now you have a microphone right here. And it's on. There you go. First appearances for 100. The answer is... The way this hero is portrayed today is a stark difference from his debut in Tales of Suspense, issue 39, 1963. Alex. What is Iron Man? Good. And you have the board. Please select. The answer is... His debut story was The Case of the Chemical Syndicate, published in Detective Comics, issue number 27, May 1939. Alex. The Joker. What is the Joker? Nope. Dave or Lisa? Dave. Who is Batman? Who is Batman is right. Good. Where to? First appearance is 300. First appearance is for three. The answer is... Though Hal Jordan's debut wouldn't be until 1959, this character debuted in All American Comics, issue number 16, July 1940. Dave. Who is Green Who is Green Lantern? Good. Where to? First appearance is 400. The answer is... This eventual Avenger got his godly start in Journey into Mystery, issue number 83, in 1962. Alex. What is Thor? Right. Where to? Uh, first appearance is 500. Finishing it up, the answer is... Appearing first in a cameo on the final page of the previous issue, this member of the X-Men debuted in Incredible Hulk number 181, 1974. Lisa. Nope. Alex? What is Wolverine? Right. Wolverine is right for 500, and you have control. Where to? Uh, sidekicks for 100. Sidekicks for 100. The answer is... In the original canon, this sidekick would eventually lead the Teen Titans as a superhero <laughs> named Nightwing. <laughs> Alex? What is Robin? Right. Uh, sidekicks for two. Sidekicks for two, the answer is. This cartoon superhero and eventual talk show host had three sidekicks. Jan, Jace, and Blip the Monkey. Dave. Who is Space Ghost? Who is Space Ghost, right. <laughs> and you have the board, please select. Sidekicks 300. Sidekicks for 300, the answer is. Introduced in 1994, Jack Harrison became this alter ego in order to help Captain America. Alex. What is Bucky? No. Dave or Lisa. Psychic, we're looking for who is Jack Flag? Who is Jack Flag? All right, uh, Dave, you still have the board. Psychic's 400. The answer is 
Though frequently mistaken for a rabbit due to his ear-like antenna, this tick sidekick is actually a moth. Dave. Who is Arthur? Who is Arthur? Very good. Sidekick's for five hundred. Closing it out, the answer is... While never actually named in the series, Porky Pig plays the eager young space cadet beside this space hero. Dave. Who is Duck Dodgers? Who is Duck Dodgers is good, and that takes us to our first commercial break here on Jeopardy at Cleveland Comic Convention. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, you two. Welcome back. We are in the middle of the Jeopardy round here at Cleveland Comic Con in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're going to take a little bit of time to get to know our contestants. And uh, Lisa, we're going to start with you. Uh, now, you were the brave one. Uh, I believe you have someone out there in the audience who you were trying to convince to come out. Who, who's, who's the not-so-brave gentleman out there? My husband, Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Fortunately, the camera has a still shot, so it's not seeing your very embarrassed face right now, but uh, uh, that's okay. She's, uh, <laughs> there you go. She's, uh, she's knowing all of these, she's just not having a whole lot of luck on the buzzer right now, which is the way it goes. Well, good luck to you, Lisa, as we continue. Alex, uh, you're a student, um, college or high school? High school. High school, all right. Now, uh, where eventually do you want to end up college-wise? Uh, I'm not really sure yet. I'm trying to get to the medical program. Oh, a medical program, okay. Uh, what, what uh, any particular field do you want to get into? Trying to get into radiology. Radiology, all right, well. Good luck to you. And Dave, you're blowing through this game so far. Um, looking pretty confident. Uh, how you feeling? Feeling good. All right. Now, <laughs> Nobody from my family wanted to come with me today, so I'm here on my own. <laughs> well, they're, they're lost, and uh, so far it looks like it may be your game. Now, the way this is going to work, we do have one grand prize, and whoever is the winner of the game will win the grand prize for this. Um, because this was a, hey, who wants to play Jeopardy, there's not really a second or third place on this one, so you need to win in order to win. And Dave, you gave me the last correct response, which means you have control of the board as we continue. Where to? Let's do bow ties are cool for 100. Bow ties are cool for 100. The answer is, this villain is rarely seen without one, except in the 1992 film Batman Returns, in which he wore a jabot. What? Dave. Who is the penguin? Who is the penguin? Good. Bow ties for 200. Bow ties for 200. The answer is... Bow tie wearing Foggy Nelson is the roommate and law school buddy of this blind superhero. Nice. Alex. Who is the Daredevil? Daredevil is good. Where to? Oh, uh, bow ties are cool for you. The answer is... Before the spin doctors had him sing the blues, this Daily Planet photographer was often seen wearing one in early comics. Lisa. Jimmy Olsen? Who is Jimmy Olsen? Who is Jimmy Olsen? Good. Um, go better known as 100. Better known as for 100. The answer is Reed Richards. Lisa. Who is... Um, I don't know. All right, Dave or Alex Dave. Who is Mr. Fantastic? Who is Mr. Fantastic, that's right. All right, Lisa, I'm going to buzz in for you real quick because we did not uh, dock you for 100, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, uh, you've got it. Where to? Uh, bow ties for 400. Bow ties for 400. The answer is... The bow tie was a favorite accessory of characters from this cartoon studio, including Boo Boo, Snagglepuss, oh, wow. and Huckleberry Hound. Dave. What is Hanna-Barbera? Hanna-Barbera yeah. is correct. Where to? Yeah. Bow ties for 500. Finishing it out, the answer is... This British-created vegetarian vampire duck wears a red one with his ensemble. Mm -hmm. Anyone in the audience know that one? Uh -uh. Nope. Response? Duckula? Yeah, go ahead. Count Who is Count Duckula? <laughs> yes, Count Duckula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough of bow ties. Dave, you've still got it. Where to? Better known as for 200. Better known as for 200. The answer is Remy LeBeau. Nope. Dave. Gambit. Who is Gambit? Right. No. Better known as for 300. The answer is Wade Wilson. <laughs> Dave. Who is Deadpool? Yes, good. <laughs> Audience always loves a Deadpool question. <laughs> Where to? Better known as for 400. The answer is Walter <laughs> Kovacs. No 
one watches the Watchmen, correct response, who is Rorschach? Rorschach. All right, where to, Dave? Better known as for 500. Finishing it out, the answer is Alec Holland. Dave. Who is Swamp Thing? Yeah. Swamp Thing, good for another 500. You are cleaning up. Two categories left. Where are we going? Doctor's in for 100. Doctor is in. There's still a Daily Devil up there somewhere. Doctor's in for one. The answer is this arch enemy of the Fantastic Four is the leader of the fictional nation of Latveria. Alex. Who's Doctor Doom? Who's Doctor Doom? Good. Where to? Uh, the doctor is in for two. Doctor is in for two. The answer is. Nine lost episodes of this sci-fi classic were recently discovered in a Nigerian relay station. Alex. What is Doctor Who? What is Doctor Who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Doctor for 300. Doctor for 300. The answer is... According to Eternity, this Sorcerer Supreme is the mightiest magician in the cosmos. Dave. Who is Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange, good. Where to? Doctor for 400. Doctor for 400. The answer is... His blue skin is a result of radiation. His full frontal nudity and Alan Moore design choice. Fairly obvious no one here is a Watchmen fan. That was another one. Who is Doctor Manhattan? Doctor Manhattan. All right. And Dave, what do you want to do? Doctor's in for 500. Finishing that one up. The answer is... Eventually defeated by the Squadron Supreme, this supervillain's weapon was a device that transmitted powerful sonic energy. Anyone know that one in the audience? Squadron Supreme, anyone? Uh, sound related, who is Dr. Decibel? Dr. Decibel. All right. Did you know that one now after I said it? No. Yeah. Okay. I read, well, I <laughs> one category left, Dave. Which one you want? Remember, there's a Daily Devil up there somewhere. Colorful characters for 100. For 100, the answer is. In 2011, IGN ranked her 13th among the top 100 comic book heroes of all time, the second highest ranking member of the X Men. Alex. It was Jean Grey. Good. Uh, all right, the answer is. Serial killer Arkady Rosevich, after undergoing experimentation from the KGB, becomes this supervillain. Uh, Alex? Who is the Red Skull? No. Dave or Lisa? You got the right color. Who is Omega Red? Omega Red. All right. Uh, Alex, you still have it. Answer is... While better known as Emma Frost, this X-Men adversary initially went by this colorful name. Dave. Who is the White Queen? White Queen, good. Nice. Colorful characters, 400. The answer there is the Daily Devil. All right, Dave, uh, you can have a runaway right now. You lead Alex by, you lead Alex by 2,800. How much do you want to risk on colorful characters? 800. 800, all right, we can do that. In the category of colorful characters, here is your clue. Either of Magneto's twin children, both of which fits this category. Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver. Who are Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver? You got them both. You only needed one, and that's good for 800. Well done. <laughs> All right, and to finish up Jeopardy, here is colorful characters for 500. The answer is former star quarterback Michael John Carter uses stolen space museum items and a time machine to become this Justice League member. Alex. No. Dave or Lisa. Dave. Who is Booster Gold? Who is Booster Gold? That is right. And you have a commanding lead as we go into the <laughs> However, Alex, Lisa, you're still in this because, as, uh, as you know, there are two daily doubles as we go into Double Jeopardy, which could determine the outcome of this game. Stay tuned, YouTube. We'll have Double Jeopardy right after this.